हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टुडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट द लास्ट स्टेप इन ह्यूमन डाइजेशन दैट इज एजेशन एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस इन हर्बिवोरस एज वेल एज अमीबा सो लेट स्टार्ट नाउ वी नो दैट स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन इज द पार्ट वेर द फाइनल डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड हैपन्स that is all the remaining components of food whether they are fats proteins or carbohydrates are digested by the pancreatic juice after that the digested part of food is absorbed by the small intestine now some portion of food is there for example let's say the fibers which are there in the vegetables fruits etc which cannot be digested by our body so what happens is that part of food will make it way make its way to the large intestine now the large intestine is not actually long it is only 1.5 meter long but it is larger than diameter small intestine is thinner in diameter so that's why small uh, it is called small intestine and large intestine is called large now what happens is the main function of large intestine is to absorb the water from the food so that uh, water is not lost whenever we want to expel the undigest food particles so the function of large intestine is to absorb the water and after that there is a portion called rectum in the rectum the digested undigested food particles are stored and whenever it's time to expel it goes out it makes its way through the last opening which is called anus now we have already discussed in session 1 that this process is called ejection so the ejection is the process by which the waste undigested food get out of the body and this undigested food is also called fecal matter in the previous session i talked about maintaining proper dental hygiene and uh, uh, you should wash make a habit of washing the fruits before eating or vegetables before eating but what happens is many times we neglect this for example or many times what happens is the food doesn't come from a trusted source for example let's say you are craving for a pani puri or a vada pav so what you will do is you will go to the nearest store and eat it but have you ever thought that uh, whether they maintain the proper hygiene or not whether they use good products or not no we just eat it for the sake of the taste so what happens is sometimes that food is contaminated with some bacteria or some virus so it gets it makes its way to the stomach now whenever our body realize that this is happening some virus or some bacteria has infected our uh, digestive system so the stomach just wants to get rid of that unwanted particles so what happens is it will not digest any of the food and it will just quickly send it its motive will be to quickly send it to the large intestine and large intestine will expel it right away so this kind of condition is called diarrhea now uh, so many of us might have experienced this kind of condition where the watery stools appear so in this uh, process the large intestine does not absorb the water it just readily expels the food out of it so in this condition a lot of water loss is experienced by the body so what uh, doctors generally recommend is an ors solution ors means oral rehydration solution oral means it is taken through mouth rehydration means whatever the water uh, has been lost by the body it is recovered through it and after that doctors also recommend to take boiled water so that 
बॉइल्ड वॉटर हैज नो वायरस एंड बैक्टीरिया विच फर्दर डिटोरिरेट्स द सिचुएशन सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन इज कॉल्ड डायरिया एंड जनरली इट इज क्योरेबल इट इट क्योर्स इन बिटवीन फोर टू फाइव डेज इफ वी टेक प्रोपर प्रॉपर केयर बट वी शुड सी टू इट दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन नेवर अराइज सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर ह्यूमन डाइजेशन now we will study about how the digestion process happens in herbivores it is a little bit different so let's start with the digestion process of herbivores we know that herbivores animals are grass eating animals they all eat grass now the digestive system of herbivores animals is a little bit different from us that is you can see in the figure it has the same thing buccal cavity or mouth from where it eats the grass after that it has a food pipe that is called esophagus it is green in color in the figure so esophagus is the food pipe from which the food or the grass passes but after that it has a chamber called rumen rumen is some uh, rumen is a pouch like structure where the grass is stored now what the herbivores animals do is they will quickly eat the grass and won't chew it it will direct, they will directly swallow it and the grass will go to that chamber which is called rumen now why this happens it is because whenever they go for grazing so what happens is they don't have much time so what they will do is they will just quickly swallow it now inside the rumen the digestion happens and after that whenever they are sitting at any comfortable position the semi digested food or partly digested food will again come to their mouth they will again chew it and after that the food will go to the stomach and the final or complete digestion process will happen so this is what happens in the grass eating animals now uh, one question which arises is that why they have rumen and why we don't have it the answer is very simple it is because they eat grass so that's why they have rumen now what happens is the grass has a sugar uh, which is called cellulose now what is cellulose it is a kind of complex sugar we discussed that uh, some carbohydrates are there which are digested by our body do you remember the name it is called starch now the starch is digested and converted into glucose in our buccal cavity with the help of saliva but we have inability to digest the cellulose it is a more complex form of the sugar it is more complex than starch so some special enzymes are needed to digest that sugar which is not present in our body it is only present in grass eating animals so th- uh, this bacteria it is present in the rumen of the grass eating animals so what happens is when they will swallow the grass it will reach the rumen and in the rumen the cellulose is broken down into its simpler part and after that it is again taken back into the mouth and chewed so the partly digested food which comes out of the rumen it is called cud c u d cud now uh, cud is again taken back into the mouth and finally it is chewed this is an original picture of the digestive system of ruminants so you can pause the video and uh, have a look at the parts now because uh, the grass eating animals do not chew their food and first swallow it and after that after the food is semi digested and converted into cud 
and after that they chew it they are called they are also called ruminants now grass eating animals uh, as i said earlier they can digest the cellulose which many animals cannot because they have a special type of bacteria present in the rumen now this complete process that the swallowing of food and conversion of curd and after that again coming back into the mouth this complete process is termed as rumination now we'll study about the digestion and feeding process in amoeba but before that do you know that we humans also knowingly or unknowingly consume cellulose cellulose is present in very small amounts in vegetables and fruits now uh, they are a part of fibers now what is the meaning of fiber they are some strands very thin strands so what they do is their function is to clean the inner walls of large intestine for example let's say if the undigested part of food remains in contact with the walls of large intestine they will create uh, many kind of complications and diseases so the fibers what they do is they will just clean the walls of large intestine just like a scrubber we uh, use the scrubber to clean the dishes just like that fibers also clean the uh, walls of large intestine so they are very important for the diet so we should consume food which is high in its fiber content now coming back to amoeba what is amoeba so it is a single celled or- organism for example our human body it is composed of various type of cells cells are the building blocks for example you use a brick to build a, a building so just like that our body is also made up of various type of cells cells are nothing but bricks building blocks now if you see our body you will see that there are many different type of things for example you will see the hair then you will see nails skin bones etc so all these things have different type of cells so we are called multicellular animals why because we have millions of cells and they are also of different types now amoeba is a unicellular animals animal now what is the meaning of uni uni means one so it has just a single cell and it is microscopic we cannot see it with our naked eye we have to use a microscope to see it now what is uh, what is the composition of amoeba so amoeba has a cell membrane cytoplasm as well as nucleus now what is cell membrane so cell membrane is the outer boundary of a cell after that cytoplasm is the inner thing which uh, which is composed of the cell organelles so amoeba has no mouth or anything its its shape can change for example we have a definite shape right our mouth has a definite shape our hands has a, have a definite shape but amoeba doesn't have any definite shape so what it does is it will use its body shape to consume the food as well as to eject out the food now how the process works in amoeba so it uses something called pseudopodia now what is the meaning of pseudopodia pseudo means false so it is generally not uh, existing in real state it is false and podia means feet so it uh, as i said it is a single celled organism and its cells shape can change to anything so what it does is it will make some uh, finger like projections out of its cell and capture the food particle after that there is a portion in the cell called food vacuole which is an empty or blank space so what happens is this food particle will go to the food vacuole 
Now inside the food vacuole, the digestive enzymes are released. The food will get digested, and after that, finally, it will be ejected out of the out of the body. Now amoeba also secretes waste products, undigested food, out of its body, and this is how it will use the energy which is. Uh, Uh, which it gets from the food for multiplication and growth now i'll also show you an image to uh, visualize how the pseudopodia work as you can see in the image that amoeba does not have any specific shape so it shape its uh, shape continuously change now you can see that the food particles here it is shown in blue color so it is making a finger like projection and it is capturing the food particle now after that this white space inside which the food particle is there uh, there it is called food vacuole food vacuole inside the food vacuole the digestive enzymes are released and after that it does the same thing which we do that is absorption of the digested food particles finally it will take the energy out of it and whatever part is undigested it will just eject out of the body so that process is called ejection now if we observe closely we will see that amoeba and human beings both have same steps of nutrition namely ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ejection but we are multicellular and amoeba is unicellular so if we look at the cellular level the steps of digestion in amoeba as well as the human beings are same now i hope uh, you find my explanation clear enough to understand the digestion process in various kind of living things the human beings herbivores amoeba i would suggest you to refer the book so that you are more clear and also practice the diagram of human digestive system as well as the feeding and digestion process in amoeba till then take care and stay safe